Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for, you can say, the next seven days, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Libra? Let's excuse my stomach. It's making all kinds of noises, so you may hear that throughout this reading. It is what it is. I can't control it. I have a big pile. We're not going to take that. What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days? This one just flew out. Mm. Casket. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Endings lead to new beginnings. Someone going, oh, another one just fell out. Bo, you are highly thought of. You are highly thought of. End of a situation, someone going out of your life. This is like something getting buried, you know? You are highly thought of. Hmm, what do we have for Libra? Whoops, I dropped those. There is two of them though. I'm gonna take them. Gavel, involvement with the law. Which is interesting considering you're Libra and you're all about justice. So there is some sort of involvement with the law. <sighs> Cup. You should accept valid criticism. That's a hard one. It is. It's interesting. I decided to wear this shirt for you. I don't know why. I, I This is for Libra. That's why I put this shirt on. I was like, this is for Libra. I know that it is. Women who behave... Women who behave rarely make history. So I don't know. I don't know who you're dealing with, but... We got a woman here that probably is misbehaving. No. <laughs> Anyhow, um, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. What do we have for Libra? Involvement with the law. Ooh, interesting. Now, this did come out reversed, but I'm not taking these in reverse. Wish granted wished granted so i'm not sure if you've been wishing for something praying for something i don't know some sort of wish is being granted you may have made this wish a long time ago okay when's the last time that you blew on a dandelion and made a wish my stomach is going nuts so just don't worry about that um libra Libra, so justice. This is a card of justice, truth, uh, decision, maybe a final decision, a rebalancing, a rebalancing of the scales, a realignment. These scales are, are pretty even though. So th something, I feel like there's something that is going in your favor. If there is any involvement with the law, it is going to go in your favor. Justice is going to be served in your favor. A wish is being granted in your favor. In your favor. Oh, mm, this one flipped over. You don't know your value. You don't know your value. Interesting. Making a decision. This is a final decision. Ooh, oh, I just cut the deck. I do not know why. 911. So I don't know if this has to do with an emergency or those could, this could be numerology. Nines are about closure. Okay? So I feel I feel like it's time for closure. It's a sign to move on. Okay? It's a sign to move on. Ones are about independence. I don't care if there's two ones there or not. It's still about independence. Okay? 
Um, I feel like you have an inner knowing. You know that something is over. You know that you know that because the ones are, are manifestation and thoughts and intuition. I feel like you're highly intuitive at this moment. I feel like things, something is definitely coming to an end because next to the, after the nine is a 10, which is the completion. It is time to close a chapter in your life. Wish, you know, that wish fulfillment card came out reverse, wish granted. So I'm not sure if this isn't what you asked for. It's like, this, I feel like it's supposed to be reversed, honestly. I feel like this isn't what you hoped for. It isn't what you asked for, you know. But the universe or God will answer your prayers in mysterious ways. Maybe you've been wishing and praying for somebody that doesn't know your value. Let's get one of these. Justice is being served. Everything is going to turn out as it should. I feel like that wish fulfilled, wish granted car is supposed to be reversed. I do because I feel like this is definitely if somebody's leaving your life or you know I don't feel like this is and you got to accept valid criticism I don't think this is what you were hoping for okay obviously um, when everything when something is getting buried it's usually not what you asked for um, oh I guess that's it the chariot so the chariot we have this is victory okay it's victory um, Mastering emotions, uh, overcoming some sort of hardship, perseverance, okay, movement, traveling, taking a journey. Could also be dealing with a cancer. Somebody is taking a journey. They're go they've they're going somewhere. This is somebody who has really worked hard. Now they've achieved. They've achieved all that they're going to achieve on this situation. Maybe they're going to learn more, but I feel like this is an achievement of some sort. Success. We have a ladybug here. To me, ladybugs are good luck. It's also a sign. When I see a ladybug, and I don't, and I don't even know what it means. I've looked it up before, but I couldn't remember it if I tried. Um, but when I think of it, I think it's, uh, I don't know if there's somebody that has passed away that is trying to give you a message. It's definitely time to move on. This is moving on. And nines are about moving on. Final decision. Somebody is going somewhere. They are. Somebody is going somewhere. Going in a new direction. You are highly thought of. If there is some legal issues going on, they will go in your favor, okay? What do we have for Libra? Mm, five of Swords reverse signifier card. So there's been conflict. There's been hostilities. This is the end of hostilities. This is the end of a conflict. This has been very hostile. You've been involved in a hostile situation. It's coming to an end. Somebody's leaving. They're leaving. I feel like there's some sort of freedom here. Hermit reversed in their section. Two of swords. Temperance. Could be dealing with Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Now let's get your side. Two of cups. Five of pentacles. Seven of swords. Oh my goodness. Seven of swords is plotting and planning. This is on your side. This is a very... I mean, if you look at this, it looks like we have somebody here that is... is uh, getting away with something, okay? Uh, getting This is being ahead, being ahead of the posse, okay? I feel like uh, this is getting away with something. You have this in the bag, so whatever it is, you have it in the bag. Um, 
this is in your side. I don't know if there's been some sort of deception here. Seven of Swords. This is, a, this is a, it's interesting because the Five Swords are in the bag, and the Five Swords in reverse is a signifier card. So that's that's you know winning. You're winning. Whatever this is, you're winning. You may not see it as a win, but you're winning. You're gonna win. I don't know if there's been some sort of financial hardship, or if this has to do with job or money or something like that the five of pentacles card that is a feeling abandoned feeling neglected um being neglected on thin ice not having enough not getting enough i feel like you've been not giving and not getting enough from a partnership i feel like you i have been trying to beat the enemy you know it's like you've been trying to beat the enemy I feel like you're very cunning, you're very clever, you're very, very intelligent. I feel like you have this in the bag. If you're trying to beat the enemy, I think you're going to beat the enemy. I think you're going to win, okay? You're winning. Somebody may have left or, they, or they're leaving. You know, they've made an escape already and you're feeling neglected. You're feeling alone. You're feeling on edge. You're feeling like an outcast or something like that. Maybe you've been... You obviously there's some sort of neglect here from a partner or there's a loss. I don't know if somebody suddenly departed or they're departing, you know, and you know, you're you're struggling. You're struggling with this departure. Five of Pentacles is a struggle. It is definitely struggling. You probably feel like you're sinking, you know, you're sinking or this is overwhelming. It's it feels like there's some sort of over, overwhelming feeling. I feel like um I don't know if you're trying to connive and I'm just, you know, cause it's interesting that I wore this shirt. Well-behaved women rarely make history. Now, if you're a man watching this, there's that, it feels like there's some conniving here, whether it's a man or a woman, there's, but I feel like it's you. It's on your side. I feel like there's conniving, there's planning, there's plotting, plotting, trying to get a partner, you know. I feel like you've been outcast, you've been neglected, you've been ghosted, you've been, you've been, you weren't chosen. So it's like now you're, you're plotting and planning, you know. I don't know if you're plotting and planning to get a partner back or to get a partnership back or to win some sort of legal battle or whatever. Um... Or to, re, or to win this competition. It feels like there is some competition. I don't think you're doing it in the best manner. Uh, hold on. Five of Swords reverse could be all out war. Hold on. Let's get another one. Exposing crime. Somebody may be exposing something. You know, this is a very, this is very cunning behavior. Taking a risk. Taking justice into your own hands. Some of you may be trying to take justice into your own hands because somebody has left your life. Wish granted is supposed to be reversed. This is not what you asked for. Someone going out of your life or the end of the situation. It feels like you it feels like you're you're doing something to get back to get them back, to take this, you know, to get the justice that you deserve or to get the change the decision. Crime being exposed. Hold on, let me get another. I feel like there is something that is going to be exposed. I feel like we do have like a burial here, so something is being buried. Whoever. Oh, I was going to get one more card. There it is. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, seven, clarifying the Seven of Swords, which is mental turmoil. A need to reevaluate. You need to reevaluate what it is you're, you're, you're involving yourself in. I feel like you need to break free. You need to break free from this mentality. You need to uh, walk away. And the Five of Swords rever upright is walk away, but it's reversed. It's refusing to walk away. I feel like you're fighting. You're conniving. It's like you want to fight with somebody. It's interesting that I wore this shirt. It really is. It feels like you want to win. You want to win. It feels like you want to win at all costs. That's what the Five of Swords is, right? The best thing to do is to walk away. It really is. You don't need to be in this situation. You don't need to get yourself involved. Free yourself, free yourself. This is definitely mental turmoil, held back, staying in a situation that you need to break free from, and it's mental. 
it's all mental. I mean, I'm not saying that you have mental problems, but it's a mental thought process, you know? It's your mind. You need to master. And the chariot is about mastering emotions, mastering yourself. It's about self-mastery, okay? And it's time for closure. It's time to go in that new direction. It's time to face forward. Don't look back. You can't look back. You can't look back anymore. You need to be honest with yourself. That Justice card or Libra card is about honesty. It's about being honest with yourself about a situation that you are choosing to, you're choosing. You can get out of this situation at any moment, but you're choosing to participate. Stop participating. And it feels like you feel like you're getting away with this, you know, and it, it feels like it's ha 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 ha, I'm causing all these problems, but, you know, I feel like it's not going to end well. It's interesting right now, you may feel like you're winning, gloating, and I saw the gloating, it's on your side, okay, this is on your side, this is gloating, ha ha ha, I'm causing all these problems. I'm causing this struggle. This is the tug of war. I'm causing this. I'm causing these problems, but I feel like it's not going to go. I mean, yeah, you're winning right now, but your ultimate wish is not going to be granted. Let's get one more card. Whoever you're dealing with, I feel like they have a partner. The, exter the external is the two of cups, okay? So that is a partnership. Whoever you're dealing with already has a partner. King of Pentacles reversed. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo. Whoever this person is, they're doing something illegal. They're only in it for the money. All they care about is the money. All they care about is this is somebody that is very selfish, very stubborn, very set in their ways. Um, they already are in a partnership that they are unwilling to let go of, or they're, they're in it just for the money. This is this could be fighting over money. There could be some legal issues that have to do with money, may have to do with a father or a husband or an ex that has to do with a male. We have a male that uh, has something to do with money and... You know, there could be an argument or something that has to do with money. There's insecurities here. There's insecurities. You're in an insecure partnership or you may be feeling insecure, financially insecure. And it doesn't have to be financially insecure, but there's definitely some insecurities here. King of Pentacles reversed, Five of Pentacles reversed. I feel like you need to ground yourself. You need to be practical. You need to be realistic. You need to walk away from this situation. You know, endings lead to new beginnings. I feel like, I don't know if somebody has left. You know, they've left and you need to find a way to master your emotions and move on. It's time for closure. It's stop. You need, to, you need to rebalance yourself. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to focus on the future. You really need to focus on the future with that chariot card. You really do. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to move on. Whoever you are dealing with, we get the hermit reversed, the two of swords reversed, and temperance. Temperance comes after death. It comes after the death card. This person has evolved. They've changed. They're not the same person anymore, okay? Uh, you, they've accepted, okay, they've been accepted, they, they've, they're going with the flow, they're, they're uh, committed to their new life, okay, um, whoever you're dealing with, um, I feel like this person has evolved, you know, whoever you're dealing with is managing their feelings, they're doing their best to manage, they're healing, they're healing. They're just, they're, 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 they're not even the same person that they used to be anymore. They're not. And I feel like that's, and, and I feel like they've accepted that it's over, but I feel like you're, you don't want to accept it. You don't want to accept it. I feel like, I feel like, uh, you need to find the self-discipline to change. Whoever you are dealing with has already done so. Hermit reversed. Uh, not alone. 
This person is not alone. They've gone through some sort of enlightenment. They've gone through a spiritual awakening. They, uh, two of swords, emotional, held back, torn. Painful, stressful decision. This was a painful, stressful decision. This person that left or is is leaving, it was painful and stressful for them. But they want, they need to heal. They need a better life. They want a better life. They don't, they they don't want to be held back anymore. Hermit reversed. That's that's uh, they've already thought about it. They're going this period a new conscious awareness. Somebody that you are dealing with has become consciously aware of who they are. They've done their soul searching. Okay, they've they've been through a period of soul searching. You may not want to believe it. It feels like you don't want to hear it. You don't want to see it, and you don't want to believe it. You don't want to believe that this person has evolved. You know, we all evolve. blocking I don't know if this person is blocking you or they've blocked you or you're not receiving any type of communication they may have shut you right down they may be shutting you right down and maybe that's why you're acting the way that you're acting and and I'm not and you know I love Libra I do love Libra my daughter is a Libra uh, my both of my brothers are a Libra both of them are Libras so I have nothing against Libra um, very cunning, clever energy. There's also somebody here that has made an escape. They've gotten out. They've gotten out of a situation and now you need to accept it. It's like you need to accept it and move on. You need to move on. But it feels like you don't want to be alone. You don't want to be alone. And whoever you're dealing with isn't alone. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo or a Sagittarius. This person, somebody is, is they've thought about what they were going to do and, they, and, and they are, they're, they've been struggling, really, 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 really struggling, but now they've made a choice. I feel like they've made some sort of choice. There's been some indecision. They were at a crossroads. This was a very difficult decision with because they were torn. They were torn between you and, and them or you and the other side or you and whatever or you and another person. So somebody was torn. They were torn, are you in another path, okay? Somebody was torn. They were torn, but they have decided that they want change, that they want something better, that they want healing, you know? That they, that they want something better, they want something more. So I feel like I feel like you need to be grounded and but I feel like you and I feel like you're you've been really in your emotions trying to I don't know if you're trying to expose things to win, you know, it's, it's like you're exposing because that's what Libra is it's about justice, about taking justice. And you, I feel like that's what's going on. I feel like you're trying to take justice in your, your own hands and you need to reevaluate your actions. King of Pentacles reversed not getting not getting anything solid or secure this person's not going to give you they're not they're not they're not interested they're not interested they're more interested in everything but a relationship and i feel like you haven't been grounded with the whole situation you need to ground yourself some of you may be struggling with financial burden you may be fighting for money maybe it has to do with an estate Somebody has been blocking you or I don't know, there's some sort of blockage here. There is. There's some sort of rejection, not seeing the light. Whoever you're dealing with may have rejected you because they're not seeing it this, the, the right way or the, the way that you do. Oh, we got two. Five of Cups. 
grieving over a loss. So yes, I do believe you're going to be grieving over a loss. I do. I feel like we have a separation here. This is mourning. It's deep sorrow. It's focusing on the past. The separation. Abandonment. Blaming yourself. I feel like a decision has been made and you're struggling with accepting it. Whoever you're dealing with has already accepted it, okay? They've already accepted it because it's in their side. Temperance is acceptance, you know? And I feel like whoever you are dealing with regrets that they hurt you. They regret it. They are going through it. They're, they're regretting how it happened, how this ended. They, they weren't awakened. They weren't enlightened. They were, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that was blocking the truth. They were in denial. They didn't think it was going to end like this. The other card is the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is very intuitive, going within, reflecting, observing, deep feeling, spending time alone. And I do see spending time alone. I, I do with the Hermit as well. I feel like you need to go within, you need to heal. And there is definitely lack of healing here. It's like, I just want justice, so I'm going to take it into my own hands. You know, and it's only going to cause you more pain. It is. It's time to move on. You should accept valid criticism. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Involvement with the law. Could be karma. This could be a karmic contract that has ended. This could be, uh, you know, I don't know, for some of you it has to do with money or, you know, an estate or an inheritance or something like that. I feel like you are very, very intuitive at this time. Okay, I saw that already. I feel like you need to listen to your intuition. You need to go within. Okay, you need, the high priestess goes within. Okay, this is somebody that is very self-sufficient, that is a loner. Okay, that focuses on their spirituality. Um, maybe it's time to focus on your goals. Take a time out. Focus on yourself. Heal. Focus on your spirituality. We have, a, we have a battle or a hostile situation that, is, that has come to an end. Maybe, maybe you've even received a message from a tarot reader or a psychic or a medium, you know, that has told you, or maybe it's your gut that has told you that it's time to stop. You know, it's time to stop. Somebody has been blocking as well. You're dealing with somebody who hasn't been listening to their intuition. They were guided down the wrong path by a deceptive individual. This person regrets going down that path, but they can't take it back. They can't. They're not going to take it back. It's too late. They're, it's, they're, it's too late. They're already gone. So now it's time for you to move on. Focus on your future. Stop restricting yourself, please. It's time for you to accept that this is over. This is a card of acceptance and balance and cooperation. And it's change after death. It's renewal. It's healing. It's time. Take your time to heal from this loss. You can't just bury it. Well, maybe you are. Maybe you need to. I don't know. Something about burying here. Something about a burial or burying it. I don't know what this burying it is. 
I feel like it's time for you to I feel like it's time for you to socialize. I think that you've been grieving or you're going to be grieving. You need to unblock your emotions. You need to unblock your your fears. You need I feel like you need to balance your emotions. I do. I feel like you need to manage your feelings. Whoever you're dealing with does regret hurting you. They do. They do. But they've already accepted that it's over. It's done. Good luck.